now we can move towards our next topic that is basic techniques the major developments in the field of gene manipulations were were in early 1970s when some scientists were able to uh, genetically modify organisms and all these developments were due to the availability of modern gene manipulation techniques because now scientists were able to transfer the gene uh, to an organism like Escherichia coli and procedures were also available for the cutting and joining DNA molecules and these cutting and joining reactions were uh, monitored by using a different type of procedure uh, but before going to discuss all these techniques we will focus that what are the basic techniques uh, that uh, nowadays we are using in the subject of gene manipulation now briefly we can also focus that why before uh, 1970s scientists they were not successful uh, to uh, transfer the gene in eukaryotic or prokaryotic uh, microorganisms or even higher organisms what were the uh, basic problems or reasons so the major problem was that there was no mechanism to detect the foreign gene that we have inserted the gene insert ki hai, how it should be detected there were uh, there were no mechanisms so if the gna it is inserted then uh, of course uh, it can uh, go inside the microorganism but where it is uh, integrated no mechanism was available and if it is not integrated then how it may be detected so detection was the main problem and if the detection of the foreign insert or the DNA it is based on the expression of the gene then the failure of expression may be due to the inaccurate transcription or even the translation so that's why uh, the foreign DNA that was not uh, detected at that time so this was the main problem and if it is not integrated into the host genome then with the passage of time uh, it may be lost by the subsequent cell division of the host organism why it is lost the reason was that such foreign DNA fragments they were not having any uh, origin of replication that helped them to divide or multiply independently of the host organism so that's why they were diluted with the passage of time with subsequent uh, cell division and if it is integrated then in most of the cases there was no problem because now it will multiply with the host organism after integration but even there were uh, some problem that how to detect this integrated foreign gene or the DNA so uh, some techniques were required to differentiate between uh, the foreign DNA and the host genome and then with the passage of time this problem was uh, solved